Catherine Gray's heart problems may originate from her family tree. She has hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, an inherited or genetic condition that can cause shortness of breath and in many cases, sudden death. It was about three years ago I started noticing jumping all over. And I was a heavy coffee drinker, so I, I cut down on that, and that really just didn't get it. So uh, I started seeing a heart doctor here, and he did the echo, Graham, and he diagnosed the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a genetic um, inherited cardiac condition. It, um, it occurs in about one in 500 individuals across gender, across uh, countries, really pretty much across all populations. Um, it is characterized by an abnormal thickening of the heart muscle walls. Other important features of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy are um, that there are areas of scar tissue formation within the heart muscle that are not normally there. All of these things contribute to the underlying electrical instability um, of the heart muscle, which can make individuals prone to having arrhythmias that can result in sudden death. If patients are experiencing breathlessness or chest pain with physical activity, it may be that their heart muscles become so thickened that it's actually partially um, impeding blood flow out of the heart. Um, and in that circumstance, um, there are a number of different treatment options, which include medications usually to start with. If medications are not effective, then we may recommend uh, other treatments, such as surgery to remove the excess tissue, or a special catheter-based procedure um, that we're doing here at the University of Michigan that's called alcohol septal ablation, where um, ethanol or alcohol is injected down um, a branch of a coronary artery to actually reduce the amount of excess um, tissue so that blood flow through the heart can be restored. I had an alcohol ablation, and the results were wonderful. I was up after eight hours walking the halls of the University of Michigan Hospital. After the procedure, it was like someone released me. The pressure was gone. <laughs> Whatever had me around the throat was gone. Both adults and children with the condition can seek treatment at U of M's Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Clinic. Here at the University of Michigan, we have started a hypertrophic cardiomyopathy clinic. We've gathered specialists from adult cardiology, from pediatric cardiology, from cardiac surgery, and from genetics um, so that we can provide really a comprehensive and multidisciplinary approach to patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and to their families. I think the other thing that's really important um, as we learn more about the genetics and as we're able to actually perform genetic testing on patients um, these centers are going to be really key to moving forward with that and to really being able to use genetic testing effectively so that we can improve the management of patients and hopefully in the future be able to identify people that carry the genetic mutation but um, find ways in which we can prevent them from developing the disease.